solve the given equation where given u0 is equal to 1 and u1 is equal to 2. Now let us go for the solution. We are going to solve this equation using z transform and inverse z transform. The given equation is this u0 is equal to 1 and u1 is equal to 2. Take z transform on both sides of this equation. So let me name this equation as 1. So I will be getting on further simplification. Now I am going to apply formulas for z u n plus 2, z u n plus 1 and z u n. So now I am going to combine all u of z terms together and I am going to substitute for u of 0, u of 1 and u of 0. So when I take u of z commonly outside, I will be getting z square then plus 3z and then plus 2. Then my u of 0 is 1. So I will be getting minus z square. Then u of 1 is 2. So minus 2z minus 3z which is equal to 0. So now I am going to factorize this. I will have z plus 1 into z plus 2 into u of z is equal to this z square I can bring this side which will become plus z square minus 2z minus 3z is minus 5z when I bring this it will become plus 5z so now this can be written as z into z plus 5 so now my u of z is equal to z into z plus 5 by z plus 1 into z plus 2. Now bring this z this side. So u of z by z is equal to z plus 5 by z plus 1 into z plus 2. Now I am going to simplify this RHS using partial fraction method. So z plus 5 by z plus 1 into z plus 2 is equal to a by z plus 1 plus b by z plus 2. Then z plus 5 by z plus 1 into z plus 2 is equal to take LCM z plus 1 z plus 2 a into z plus 2 plus b into z plus 1. I can cancel the denominators substitute z is equal to minus 2 minus 2 plus 5 is plus 3 is equal to a into 0 plus b into minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so this implies that b is equal to minus 3 now substitute z is equal to minus 1 so when it is minus 1, it is plus 4 is equal to a into minus 1 plus 2 is 1 plus b into 0. This implies that a is equal to 4. Now, I am going to substitute the value of a and b. Now, I am going to consider these two. So my u of z by z is equal to 4 into 1 by z plus 1 minus 3 into 1 by z plus 2. So now my u of z is equal to 4 into z by z plus 1 minus 3 into z by z plus 2. Now we are going to take inverse z transform. So z inverse of u of z is equal to 4 into z inverse of z by z plus 1 minus 3 into z inverse of z by z plus 2. So now we are going to apply the formula now this u of n is equal to 4 into z minus of minus 1. So I will be getting minus 1 to the power n. Minus 3 into here minus of minus 2 minus 2 to the power.